have been here today organising and running the Apple Harvest Food Festival, which has been a fantastic success. Transition West School Pride has been set up by a group of local residents. We've been going about two, two or three years now and we've been set up with the aim of helping the community to find ways to reduce our dependence on fossil fuel and um, reduce our carbon emissions in a number of ways. Um, whether it's to do with food projects like this one today, um, energy projects, um, it could be transport, housing or uh, a whole range of things but really getting people involved the community involved and people having a good time as well. And it's been really good, we've had loads of people through the door, probably more than we thought we would get. And it's been really good and I think everyone's had a really good time. I've brought along a display uh, to show people what sort of things we do around the village. We do lots of local planting and we run a community orchard. Um, so we've got lots of activities going on but we need more volunteers. So I came to advertise our, our group really. Being part of an environmental group I'm very aware of Transition Town and where it came from and the ideas behind peak oil. I think uh, local farming, local food production is the way of the future and the more skills we can get into the community and uh, the more skills we can teach our children the better because they're going to need these skills to be able to produce food in the future. Some of these skills were dying out so it's really nice that people are now getting grandparents, getting people from uh, further away to come along and share their skills with the younger folk as well. I think it's been a lovely atmosphere. I'm really pleased with the way the community came out and took part. I think it's another indication of how uh, festivals in a local community can be so successful and bring community together. There are people from all walks of life in the village turned up today, all age groups, lots of grannies that I knew very well and lots of children of children that I taught. Yeah. So it was quite delightful to see them all out turning out for an event like this. I'm very interested in bringing back all the apple varieties, so we have a selection of all the different apple varieties laid out today. I'm trying to get children interested in you know, eating fruit and enjoying the fruit that grows in Scotland. And you know, it's a good thing for schools to do as well. So we've had endless children doing the spiralling and lots of also lots of adults asking questions and interested in getting involved and I think it's just been been super having all the different stands as well with the different aspects of it's been really good. Without going into all the geopolitics of local food, I think the what grows near to where people live is really important. And I, for me, uh, I also like the idea that children plant things and that they grow up seeing the fruit growing and knowing that fruit grows on trees rather than coming you know, in cellophane from, from the supermarket. Local food is really, really important for several reasons. One is that we work in a whole sphere of using ingredients from local food producers to provide what we do at farmers markets. Also, it's been shown economically, if you spend money in a farmers market, it repeats itself about two and a half times into the local economy. Plus, it keeps lots of local supplies going and you know, just builds up the economy. So I do think it's very, very important. Plus, from a sustainability point of view, the fact that you're bringing the food shorter distances, I think is really important from the economy and for the environment. Obviously, it's a community event. We know it was a celebration. The sheer number of children here suggested that. So it was interesting to be part of that project.
this has been a fantastic Apple Festival. We, we attend quite a few throughout the year, and this is absolutely amazing by the turnout. And the, and the people are so fantastic. And they're really interested in the products as well. Um, I've spoken to a couple of other producers, and they've said the same. You know, they're actually interested in how the product is made, not just by buying the product itself. So it's been very, very good. We're a uh, relatively young company, uh, just over 12 months old. And what we do is we make uh, a range of apple juices, natural apple juices, traditional Scottish cider, and um, syrups and salad dressings, and basically anything to do with apples collected from within Dumfries and Galloway, and predominantly Scotland as well. The, the amount of apple that was being wasted, um, and uh, you can see it all over in people's gardens, and just knock on the door, you know, can we have your apples? Take them away, you know, they're just not being used. So it was, from our point of view, it was, it was about using a, a waste resource um, and, and then utilising that and turning that into a sellable product. Um, and here we are today. We are here representing the craft of beekeeping. Uh, we are at a local organisation called uh, West Cumbride Honey. Our bees are kept in the neighbourhood of the village. We seek out sites where there are no commercially planted flowers. So all the honey we produce comes from wildflowers. This must be one of the busiest uh, events of this nature that we've ever attended. We all know the, the reasons why the planet's in danger, uh, travelling all over the place, importing food from around on the other side of the world. and. Significant numbers of people, I think, fail to appreciate the, uh, the quality and the quantity and the variety of local foods that can be produced on their own doorstep. That's my philosophy. Mm -hmm.